been counting down the days. No more days. Today is the day when you finally get to get married. The passage you chose is from Ecclesiastes 4. Solomon says, again, I saw something meaningless under the sun. There was a man all alone. He had neither son nor brother. There was no end to his toil, yet his eyes were not content with his wealth. For whom am I toiling, he asked. Why am I depriving myself of enjoyment? This too is meaningless, a miserable business. In the next verse, Solomon says, two are better than one. And you guys are fixing to find out. Because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. As you both have accepted Christ, and you have become one with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and then we have Jesus as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Each of these is a three-stranded cord. And so as you guys submit your lives to Christ and to each other, you're weaving your life together. Remember, two is better than one, but three is even better. The strongest possible cord is a three-stranded cord. Lord Nicole, I love you. I love your heart for Jesus and your striving to do His will in your life and through your life. I can't wait to see how God uses you to expand His kingdom on earth. Being able to walk alongside you has been and will continue to be a blessing and a privilege. From going to my first NASCAR race to being able to travel together to various places, there is no one else I would want to continue being adventurous with. I am so thankful that our paths crossed and that we have been able to be there for each other through thick and thin. Your care towards others inspires me day in and day out to be a better person. It is an honor to be the one that goes through life with you, an honor that will never be taken lightly. Today, I take you to be my wife, knowing that you will be my constant friend, supporter, faithful partner, and my one true love. I promise to love you without reservation, on honor and respect you, provide for your needs as best I can, protect you from harm, comfort you in times of distress, grow with you in mind and spirit, always be open and honest with you, and cherish you for as long as we both shall live. Jonathan White, who knew that five years ago today we started what would be our forever journey together? I never figured the blonde-haired, shy, kind of short at the time, church drummer boy who lived out my back door would become my best friend. I prayed God would give me a life partner who was selfless, someone who would love me wholeheartedly and unconditionally, but most importantly, someone who loves God and strives to be like Him every day. I never imagined me, imagined He'd give me a man who is not only that, but so much more. A guy who is just as goofy as I am, someone who can always bring me out of my comfort zone, and a man who has always encouraged me in my walk with God. God surpassed all of my expectations when He gave me you. You are everything I could have wanted and more. Today I promise to you that I will love you through all the things life throws at us, to be beside you through sickness and in health, to laugh with you in times and good times, and cry with you in sad times. I promise to be true to you and to encourage your dreams every single day. I promise to always stand beside you as your faithful wife. And above all, I promise to love you wholeheartedly, forever and always. Lauren, I give you this ring as a symbol of our vows. And with all that I am all the, and all that I have, I honor you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. With this ring, I be with. Jonathan, I give you this ring as a symbol of our vows, and with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, with this ring, I be wed.
through the calling of our Lord Jesus Christ through the church, recognized by this great state of Kansas, what a privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Jonathan, you may kiss your wife. Oh, and I almost forgot. There are honored guests at this party. Let me introduce them. Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan and Lord Unruh. Woo! Please give it up for your new bride and groom, Jonathan and Lauren Unruh. Sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we Drifting away from each other, didn't wanna let you go. Oh, oh, oh. Cause we want different things, and I have to do with it. But it's not easy, so tell me how to let go. Cause you really seem to know how to carry on on your own. Ever since I got a good look in his eyes, I just knew that he was special. He said he wanna take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted to. Take it to the next level Cause I wanted that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there But you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track Of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't wanna let you go oh, oh, oh. Everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind 